The Hope Mars Mission Arabic, Emesbar Alamal also called Emirates Mars Mission, is a space exploration probe mission to Mars built by the United Arab Emirates and set for launch in 2020. Upon launch, it will become the first mission to Mars by any Arab or Muslim majority country. The mission was announced by Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, the President of the United Arab Emirates, in July 2014, and is aimed at enriching the capabilities of Emirati engineers and increasing human knowledge about the Martian atmosphere. The mission is being carried out by a team of Emirati engineers in collaboration with foreign research institutions, and as a contribution towards a knowledge-based economy in the UAE, the probe has been named Hope Probe or Al Amal, and it is scheduled to reach Mars in 2021, which coincides with the 50th anniversary of the United Arab Emirates formation. Topic Overview This spacecraft orbiter is a planned uncrewed mission to Mars by the United Arab Emirates to study the Martian atmosphere and climate. The HOPE probe is expected to be launched from Japan in the summer of 2020 and it will take seven to nine months to arrive at Mars. To accomplish the objectives of the Emirates Mars mission, an agreement was signed between the UAE Space Agency and the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center MBRSC, under a directive given by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Tomb, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. As per the agreement, the Emirates Mars mission will be funded by the UAE Space Agency and it will also supervise the complete execution process for the HOPE probe. The agreement outlines the financial and legal framework along with assigning a timeline for the entire project. Under the agreement, MBRSC has been commissioned for the design and manufacture of the HOPE probe. A team of more than 150 Emirati engineers at MBRSC are currently working on the probe and related aspects of the mission. In designing the orbiter, the Emirates Mars Mission Deputy Project Manager and Science Lead, Sarah Al Amiri, is expected to collaborate with the University of Colorado, the University of California, Berkeley, and the Arizona State University. University, the name Hope Arabic, Al -Amal, was chosen because, "...it sends a message of optimism to millions of young Arabs," according to Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of the Emirate of Dubai for whom the lead space center, the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center MBRSC, of the United Arab Emirates, is named. The project manager is Omran Sheriff. The resulting mission data will be shared freely with more than 200 institutions worldwide. The Emirates Mars mission team includes 150 Emirati engineers, with Omran Sheriff as the project manager, Sarah Amiri, deputy project manager, Ibrahim Hamza Al Qasim, deputy project manager. Strategic Planning, and Zakaria Al Shamsi, Deputy Project Manager for the Operations. The HOPE probe will be compact and hexagonal in shape and structure, with a mass of approximately 1,500 kg 3, including fuel. The probe will be 2.37 meters wide and 2.90 meters tall, the overall size being approximately equivalent to a small car. 
Hope will use three 600-watt solar panels to charge its batteries and it will communicate with Earth using a high-gain antenna with a 1.5 meters wide dish. The spacecraft will also be equipped with star tracker sensors that will help determine its position in space by identifying the constellations in relation to the Sun. Two sets of rocket thrusters and four to six large Delta V thrusters will control the speed of the probe, and eight to twelve small reaction control system (RCS) thrusters will be responsible for the delicate maneuvering. The expected travel time of the Hope probe is about 200 days at a speed of up to 40,000 kilometers per hour on its journey of 60 million kilometers. Upon arrival at Mars, it will study the atmosphere of Mars for two years. It is planned that its instruments will help build «holistic models» of the Martian atmosphere. The data is expected to provide additional data on the escape of the atmosphere to outer space. The HOPE probe will carry three scientific instruments to study the Martian atmosphere, which include a digital camera for high-resolution colored images, an infrared spectrometer that will examine the temperature profile, ice, water vapors in the atmosphere, and an ultraviolet spectrometer that will study the upper atmosphere and traces of oxygen and hydrogen further out into space. The the Emirates Mars mission is regarded as an investment in UAE's economy and human capital. H. H. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum mentioned three messages when he announced the mission. The first message is for the world, that Arab civilization once played a great role in contributing to human knowledge, and will play that role again. The second message is to our Arab brethren, that nothing is impossible, and that we can compete with the greatest of nations in the race for knowledge and the third message is for those who strive to reach the highest of peaks, set no limits to your ambitions, and you can reach even to space." A prototype of the HOPE spacecraft was displayed at the Dubai Air Show in November 2017. The prototype is a model built to give a general idea of what the spacecraft will look like. Project manager Omran Sheriff said that the mission is on track to launch in July 2020. The 2020 International Astronautical Congress is to be held in Dubai, days after the expected launch of the HOPE Mars mission. <laughs> Scientific objectives The scientific objectives for the Emirates Mars mission, as agreed upon by the global Mars science community, are aimed at providing a complete picture of the Martian atmosphere. The HOPE probe will study the atmospheric layers of Mars in detail and will provide data to study the reason for a drastic climatic change in the Martian atmosphere from the time it could sustain liquid water to today when the atmosphere is so thin that water can only exist as ice or vapor, to help understand how and why Mars is losing its hydrogen and oxygen into space, and the connection between the upper and lower levels of the Martian atmosphere. Data from the HOPE probe will also help to model the Earth's atmosphere and study its evolution over millions of years. All data gained from the mission will be made available to 200 universities and research institutes across the globe for the purpose of knowledge sharing. Topic: Spacecraft. 
The robotic probe to be sent to Mars under the Emirates Mars mission has been named Hope or Al Amal in Arabic, Arabic Emesbar Alamal as it is intended to send out a message of optimism to millions of Arabs across the globe and encourages them towards innovation. In April 2015, H. H. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid invited the Arab world to name the probe. The name was selected after receiving thousands of suggestions, as it describes the core objective of the mission. The name of the probe was announced in May 2015 and since, then the mission is sometimes referred to as the Hope Mars mission. Topic: Specifications. The Hope probe will be hexagonal in shape, built from aluminium in a stiff yet lightweight honeycomb structure with a composite face sheet. With an approximate mass of 1,500 kg including the propellant, the overall size and dimensions of the probe will be comparable to a small car. Dimensions, 2.37 m wide and 2.90 m in length Mass, approximately 1,500 kg Power 1800W from three solar panels for the purpose of communication. A high gain antenna with a 1.5 meters wide dish will be used by the probe. This antenna will produce a narrow radio wave that must point towards the Earth. There will also be low gain antennas in the structure of the probe that will be less directional as compared to the high gain antenna. The probe will also have star trackers to help it determine its position in space by studying the constellations in relation to the Sun. It will be equipped with two sets of rocket thrusters, which include four to six large Delta V thrusters and eight to twelve small reactors action control system RCS thrusters the function of the delta 5 thrusters will be speed management slowing down the probe or speeding it up as per requirements while the RCS thrusters will be used for delicate maneuvering the reaction wheels within the probe will allow it to reorient itself while traveling through the space, helping it point its antenna towards Earth or point any scientific instrument towards Mars. <laughs> scientific instruments To achieve the scientific objectives of the mission, the HOPE probe will be equipped with three scientific instruments. Emirates Exploration Imager is a multi-band, camera capable of taking 12 megapixel images for a spatial resolution of better than 8 km. It uses a selector wheel mechanism consisting of six discrete bandpass filters to sample the optical spectral region, three UV bands and three visible RGB bands. EXI measures properties of water, ice, dust, aerosols and abundance of ozone in Mars atmosphere. The instrument is being developed at the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics at the University of Colorado, in collaboration with the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center at Dubai, UAE. Emirates Mars Ultraviolet Spectrometer is a far ultraviolet imaging spectrograph that measures emissions in the spectral range 100 to 170 nanometers to measure global characteristics and variability of thermosphere, hydrogen, and oxygen coronae. Design and development led by the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics. 
Emirates Mars Infrared Spectrometer is an interferometric thermal infrared spectrometer developed by Arizona State University and Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center It examines temperature profiles, ice, water vapor and dust in the atmosphere. EMIRS will provide a view of the lower and middle atmosphere. Development led by Arizona State University with support from MBRSC. <laughs> Launch window The rocket will be launched during a brief launch window in July 2020. If the launch opportunity is missed, the mission would have to wait two years for the next window. The spacecraft will be launched from Japan using a Mitsubishi Heavy Industries HIIA launcher, and is set to arrive at Mars in 2021. Topic team The mission team is divided into seven groups including spacecraft, logistics, mission operations, project management, science education and outreach, ground station and launch vehicle. The team is headed by Omran Sheriff, who acts as the project manager and is responsible for managing and supporting the ongoing tasks related to the Emirates Mars mission. Sarah Amiri is the deputy project manager and the lead science investigator, who leads the team in developing the mission's objectives and aligning programs related to instrumentation of the HOPE probe. The mission has been referred to as having the potential to make a long-lasting contribution to the economy of the United Arab Emirates. See also United Arab Emirates Space Agency